Happy Monday. I just went to go pick up a plant from Facebook Marketplace. I'm slowly trying to add plants to the collection because eventually I want my whole corner to be covered in plants. But here she is. It's called a Aglionema Sparkling Sarah. It just has really pretty pink and it's growing a new leaf. So she obviously took good care of it. Also this weekend, this happened. It's still a little bit messy. I'll probably reorganize it again. It looks like a lot <laughs> kind of concerning, but but I mean, it's not that bad. Okay, maybe it's a lot, but I thrifted a decent amount of it. Someone gave me their mom's entire stash, so <laughs> I have a lot left from that too. I'm definitely gonna try to not buy yarn for the first couple months of the year. I'm just storing my extra sewing machine up here all my yarn is color coded i kind of wanted to do it by fiber tight but obviously it looks better like this all the knits that are mine are here and then knitting needles crochet hooks back there and just like miscellaneous craft stuff and then i have my knitting machine this poster board i use as a backdrop tripod those are my whips and this is like a pile of stuff that I'm gonna try to sell on Depop. I'm pretty excited about not having a huge pile of yarn right here. Okay. Morning friends. While I'm doing my skincare, I always keep water next to me and I just drink it while I do my skincare. Sitting here and knitting a project that I have for my upcoming video, but I'm watching YouTube and I just stumbled across Leah's field notes. And now I'm watching her weekly meals video. And she's on a farm right now and just picking all the ingredients from the farm. And that's just like a dream of mine. I did show you guys the shelf that Elliot built for the windowsill here. Cause you see, okay, we put towels cause there's a draft for now. It's cold. He built that cause there's kind of a slope here. If you can see that. There's a slope here and we wanted it flat so we can put the plants on it. But in the summer, I wanna put like all herbs right there because that's where we'll get the most sun and herbs need a lot of sun. I really wanna have my own farm one day and just grow all my vegetables and stuff. I was feeling inspired so I made a pretty big lunch with lots of veggies, eggs, tea, and my dessert. <laughs> I'm filming my Ragland video finally. Yeah, I'm super excited and it looks so good so far. This is my favorite way to make any garment, I think, um, because it's all one piece. I just love making sweaters. I'll probably be done with the sweater by the time I end this vlog. I'm also making it off my measurements, but I'm showing how to make it with any measurement, but I'm trying to leave it pretty open so you can adjust it, but I hope it makes sense. And I'm just really excited like this is a very highly requested video and I'm gonna have a new sweater by the end of the week, hopefully. Uh, real housewife. Oh my God, Whole Foods. Can't find my car. <laughs> They're like doing repairs next door because I think we're getting a new neighbor, but it's so loud. But I just got a package in the mail. I'm so excited. It's from my friend Shay. She was just in Kenya because she's on the board of this nonprofit and they work with some of the villages there with the schools and hospitals and stuff. I think it's a souvenir. Sounds fragile, so. Oh my god. What the heck? With my initial. That's so cute. Okay, just opened it. She said this was for Elliot, but it's a bracelet. Yeah. Oh my god, so this must be candy from Kenya. I know she stayed in Nairobi for a few days. And some tea, it looks like. Smells like lavender. Oh, I think it's some type of lavender. She wrote steep five minutes. Oh my gosh, perfect. I love this. Cool. Is this like a decoration? Oh my God, I love this. Definitely gonna put this on like the mantle or something. And a little keychain. This is going on my bag. Hold on, I gotta put it on right now. Yay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, and then just lots of candy. Oh my god, wait, this is to steep tea. Oh my god, that was a necklace. Wait, it's like a tea steeper. That's so cool, it's like a, it's like a shell. I feel so spoiled, thank you, Shay, I love you. And then just lots of candy. I'm gonna try it. Which one should I try? 
Do you hear the train? Like, relax. I want to try the red one. Ooh. Yeah, I want to try the red one. Mmm. It's almost like a Swedish fish, but in candy form. Okay. What was that? Great day to film. I'm literally obsessed with this. I thought it was a necklace, but it's a tea steeper. But I'm thinking I'm gonna still wear it as a necklace and then put tea in it. Then I can like smell it all day. Is that weird? <laughs> Find some hot water and then I can just pop it in and then have a cup of tea. Is that a weird idea? Probably, but. And then you put it on this little disc once you're done. So I tried the red one. I'm gonna try the clear one now. It's like pineapple. I'm gonna go through these so fast. <laughs> Anyways, that was fun. Thank you, Shay, I love you. So I'm about to have a little knitting marathon. So I'm gonna put on some YouTube. My hands are starting to cramp pretty bad. So I'm gonna take a break. But instead of sitting on my phone, I think I'll go for a walk because I've been in the apartment all day. So I thought I'd get some fresh air. It's literally so warm and I'm wearing like a puffer jacket. But it's like 66 degrees. All the dust in this is gone and then what i'm going to do is shake it up i had to find out which way to brush it <laughs> nice i've been doing uggs ever since they came out i said how'd you learn how to do that the steps to every shoe it does not have to be leather hi my name is pierce mccoy of mccoy shoe shines i'm on kate's channel <laughs> she's honoring me and i'm honoring her listen if you have any uh, knitting and, and things of that nature that needs to be done, crocheting, <laughs> she's the person to go to. I guarantee you. She's just as good at her knitting and crocheting as I am with doing shoes. <laughs> Thank See you. you. Later. As you guys saw, I just met the nicest guy ever. He shined shoes here on Main Street in downtown Durham, but he cleaned my Uggs, and I never clean my Uggs, so... They just look so much better and he was just super nice and fun to talk to and i was just walking by and i figured that he did like more professional shoes but obviously he convinced me <laughs> he was like come sit in my chair and i was like you got it so met a new friend today just made my walk a lot better i just love durham so much so many people are just very friendly here so if you ever find yourself in the downtown durham area please look out for mccoy shoe shine because He's awesome and he'll make your day and make your shoes shine. So definitely check him out. I'm on the soup grind. Ready for the gym. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Whoa, it's already Thursday. I've really just been knitting all week, but doing a little morning gym sesh instead of evening. I'm just gonna jump up for a little bit. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have two kitties. very caffeinated knitting session right now. I'm gonna continue to knit away because I wanna put that video out this week and I'm super excited about it. So make that your weekend knitting plan. And if you knit the same sweater, you'll be surprised at how fast you can finish it. One sleeve, almost done. Guys, I literally haven't knit something big in so long. Like I could, I'm getting like the butterflies of finishing a project. This is honestly bringing me back to when I first started and like learning new things. So I definitely want to prioritize making bigger pieces for myself this year. I really got caught up on like sewing stuff, which obviously I love to do that too. I love seeing other people wear my stuff, but like it's different to like make something for yourself and like get to keep it, you know, obviously. And I just feel like it's like bringing back all the joy of like when I first started. I'm super excited for this. I finished. And it's only 10.30. I put this little silk bow on, but I still need to weave all the ends in. Rolling up for my sunrise run. Not the prettiest, but it will fill me up. And I forgot I got a croissant on my way home from my run. I think I want to film some outfit shots on my digital camera. I just thrifted this, like you can probably find one at a thrift store if you're looking for one. I would definitely check out 
the electronic section. I think I want to do my try on shots for the sweater on the digital camera. It might be hard to do it by myself. I just took a ton of photos in the sweater, but I took some cool pictures by the window. So yeah, and now it's a mess in here. It's just the joy of knitting something really big and then like getting to wear it and style it. It's just so fun. I'm having a great day. So happy.